What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Kuat Switch 4. This is a snowboard and ski carrier that mounts on your roof rack on top of your vehicle. So we're a good way to get the skis and snowboards out of your vehicle, up on the roof. That gives everybody more leg room on the inside, makes everybody happier on those longer trips. Let's hop up there and check it out. It attaches via these stainless steel bands that go around the bottom and they're coated in rubber so you don't have to worry about them scratching up your bars or anything like that. But you also can know that that stainless steel is gonna be nice and strong. I can shake the whole car back and forth. Now there's a little movement here, but that's because they tilt back and I'll show you that in a second. But otherwise there's no movement here at the base. So you know it's not gonna go anywhere when you're going down the road. You got this nice plastic here with this big button that you can push with your palm, just in case you do have gloves on, just push in it. And the arm pops right up. I like that it stays up on its own. That way you don't have to kind of load it with holding this and balance and that can be kind of a pain. This way, it's up and out of the way. You just put the snowboard on there or the skis or take them off. It does, it's all good. I'll pop that other one and go ahead and remove the snowboard. Before I do that, Looking at your Equinox, you got plenty of room for the bindings, but it does depend on what kind of roof rack you have. So this one, there's plenty of room, and if there isn't room and yours is closer, you can just flip the board the other way, then the bindings will be facing up and you won't have any problems. Now this does hold two snowboards or four sets of skis or any kind of combination. So we had a snowboard and two sets of skis in there and it was just fine. It just depends on what you want to load up there. Hopping back up, I'm gonna show you the rubberized part inside here. That's gonna protect your snowboard and skis. I'll put my hand in there just to show you. It's not gonna hurt my hand, so it's not gonna hurt your gear. It also has a two-click system, so if your stuff's a little thicker, your board, you can just click it down to the first one. It's a little easier when it's loaded, sorry. Well. It clicks in here on the first one and then down a little bit further to get to that second part. There you go. So if your stuff's a little thicker, you can go on that one. You don't have to clamp it down, but if you can, it's always good to go ahead and push it all the way down. That way it's in there real tight. Now, I wanna show you the unique feature this one has over some of the other ones is it can tilt away. So I just pull this latch, tilts down, it makes it more aerodynamic less wind resistance, because if you add anything on your roof, you're gonna hear it when you're driving down the road. This just takes that down just a little bit, and that's pretty cool. It makes this stand out from the other ones for sure. I like that feature. These are always a good option for when you wanna carry your skis and snowboards. I know a lot of people out there like to use the rooftop boxes, because that keeps their gear out of the elements, but those can get kind of pricey. This one's definitely a little more cost effective. And if you don't do it all the time, like you would with a box, probably you would, you would probably get one of those since you're going all the time. But if you don't go all the time, you can use these. But even if you do live near the slopes, keeping these on all the time is probably a good idea. You don't have to take them off. You can just fold them down and leave them on top of your vehicle. They're out of the way as where a box. You leave it up there and that's kind of bulky. You have to worry about clearance and stuff when you're driving. The Equinox isn't that tall, but you know, it's just still something you have to deal with in taking that box off there. These are way easier. It comes with two tools, so if you have a second set of hands, it's even easier to install these. You can have one person on one side, one on this side, get it tightened down, and then you're ready to hit the road. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped. 